Welcome to today's lesson on referencing a purchase requisition to create a purchase order for a stock item as part of our procurement series. In our previous video, we showed how to create a purchase requisition for a stock item. You can follow the link on the screen if you have not watched this video yet. Going straight to the transaction, we proceed to select the purchase requisition we are making reference to. Now here are my document overview with the drop down options. I'm able to search for my purchase requisition documents based on any of the parameters as shown on my screen. With the my purchase requisition option, if the user creating the purchase order is the same user who created the purchase requisition, can use this option to view just the purchase requisition that was created by the specific user. If other users created the purchase requisition, you can use the purchase requisitions option and based on the parameters indicated, you can search with any of the entries, whether the requesting department, the name of the requisitioner or the requisition date. Selecting the purchase requisition I want to make reference to, I go ahead and adopt the information from it. From here, you can see the system automatically populates the purchase order with information on the purchase requisition. What I do is to indicate my purchase organization, which is my central purchasing business unit in my company, and also my preferred supplier. Although the information on the purchase order was adopted from the purchase requisition, you have the flexibility of making changes if you so desire. So I can make changes to my quantity, same for my price, same for my delivery date, if the information has changed from the time of the purchase requisition to the purchase order stage. I also have the option of adding on my tax information, such as my value added tax, to calculate my overall purchase order value if I so desire. After checking that all other information is correct on my document, I can proceed to save my purchase order. The system generates a purchase order number, which after approval can be sent to the vendor through the SAP Ariba platform, which integrates seamlessly with the SAP s procurement and sorting solution. We can then proceed to the next step, which is posting a receipt of the items, which will be handled in our next lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.